Hello, welcome to Fracture Synopsis 2. We'll have a basic introduction to fracture mechanics. Alright, so the first thing to address is, of course, what fracture mechanics is all about. And we'll remember from Synopsis 1 that fracture involves a crack of some length, the length of which increases uh, upon uh, loading. And fracture mechanics then is about when uh, is about understanding when that crack becomes critical. So when the crack gets to a sufficiently long length that the crack propagation goes from being stable to being unstable. And uh, it turns out that we can describe uh, fracture mechanics um, in its basic sense using this equation here. And this is something known as the stress intensity factor. The stress intensity factor. And that relates the stress and the uh, crack length through this geometric factor here. Geometric factor, it's just a function of the sample size and the uh, size of the crack. So this is a very useful equation for us um, and it's, as I said, the basis for fracture mechanics. So I think to help understand the stress intensity factor, um, th there's a great, a great uh, little statement in uh, Hertzberg. Uh, this is an excellent book that he's written on fracture and deformation. And anyway, the statement is uh, at the top of the slide there, stress is to strength as stress intensity factor is to fracture toughness. So let's just explore that. And of course, we've seen earlier in, in the course uh, a stress strain curve. <coughs> and on that stress strain curve, we identified a number of points, say the the yield strength, okay, the ultimate tensile strength, and the fracture strength. And you rem remember that we called them strength values, and strength being a specific value of stress, okay, specific value of stress. So now we have the stress intensity factor K and <coughs> a specific value of that is the critical stress intensity factor. That is the stress intensity factor when the crack becomes critical. The crack has grown to a sufficient length that it um, is critical, that is the, the propagation is now going to become unstable. And uh, more specifically, actually, we're going to look at the most common um, form of the stress intensity factor, or, sorry, of the critical stress intensity factor, uh, the, the plane strain fracture toughness K1C. Okay, and and the, the one, the Roman numeral one there, actually refers to mode one, crack displacement, that's crack opening, just out of interest, say here, crack two, uh, mode two is, is sliding, and mode three is referred to as tearing. But mode 1 is what we're uh, going to be interested in. That's the most common form of crack, crack displacement that we'll encounter. And so the um, K1C is the fracture toughness. And remember that the fracture toughness is a specific value of stress intensity factor. So the last thing I'd like to uh, just address is this clarification. We, we've covered a number of things here. Um, stress concentration factor, which was covered in the synopsis number one, you'll remember was um, <coughs> K sub T. And that's the stress concentration factor at the crack tip. And that was just the ratio of the maximum stress at the tip of a elliptical crack, in, in our case, uh, to the applied stress. Okay, so stress concentration factor, how much is the stress concentrated? And <coughs> Now, we've uh, also earlier in the year seen this, this um, property of the toughness, and we defined the toughness as the area under the stress strain curve up to fracture. Okay, so that's the toughness. That's essentially how much energy is involved in, in breaking and fracturing a sample. So it's, you know, it's somewhat related, but it is a different term to this new term that we've just in introduced, which was the critical stress intensity factor. So remember, the stress intensity factor, K, um, <coughs> when it becomes critical, the crack grows 
and we have a specific value of the stress intensity factor under the right conditions, which we call the K1C, and that's the fracture toughness. So it's important to realize that the fracture toughness is different from toughness, which is the area under the curve, and K1C is as well different from the stress concentration factor. So stress intensity factor, stress concentration factor, and toughness are um, related, but they are each unique, and it's important to appreciate that difference. So quickly, uh, fracture mechanics is about understanding uh, when a crack becomes critical. We have this relationship here for fracture mechanics. In fact, we saw that the stress intensity factor <coughs> under specific conditions and when it becomes critical is the, known as the fracture toughness, and that is a material property. Okay, So that's a function of the material that you've chosen for the application. Stress is, of course, a function of the design or the application, and this is the uh, crack size. And uh, that could be something that you determine through non-destructive testing, or it could be a function of uh, an element of the design or uh, your processing uh, conditions.